My name is Leah Campbell, and I'm a product specialist here at Haskawa Micron Powder Systems in Summit, New Jersey. Today, we are going to be discussing the operation of the Haskawa Micro Air Jet Sieve Model X in the basic version. The Haskawa Micro Air Jet Sieve Model X in the basic version is used to determine the particle size analysis. You can determine the percent retained, the percent passing, or the D values of your material that you are analyzing. Should you be um, unsure or unaware of what your standard operating procedure should be for your particle size analysis, we at Hasakawa can help you determine that. In order to operate the AirJet sieve, we're going to enter in our sieving parameters. As you can see here on the screen, our sieving parameters consist of the pressure and the time remaining. For the pressure, we at Haskawa suggest anywhere from 8 to 16 inches water pressure. And for the time remaining, or in other words, the sieving time, we suggest 120 seconds or 2 minutes. So in order to enter it in, you're going to select the cell and enter in the time, or um, excuse me, the sieving pressure that you desire. Then you're going to press next. It'll automatically populate to the time remaining or the sieving time screen and we're going to enter in 120 seconds. And then you're going to press done. After entering in your sieving parameters, we're going to introduce the sample to the air jet sieve. There's multiple different ways that you can do this. You can either weigh the sample with the sieve screen on a balance or you can weigh the sample by itself in a weigh bowl and then introduce it. You also want to make sure um, you're going to confirm the size sieve screen that you are using so that you get the correct particle size analysis. So once we confirm all that, we're going to introduce our sample to the sieve screen. And you want to distribute your sample around the sieve screen evenly so that all of the particles in the material has a chance to um, be introduced to the sieve screen. Once your sample has been introduced to the test sieve screen, we're going to place the lid on top and press start. As the air wand rotates, you can see that the particles are coming in contact and distributing evenly throughout the sieve screen. Once sieving is completed, you can remove the cover and take your sieve screen with the sample retained and weigh it on the balance. When you weigh it on the balance, you can get the percentage that has passed through the sieve screen or the percentage that is retained on the sieve screen. Should your company call for a different protocol where you need to remove the sample off the sieve screen and weigh it like that too, that'll give you the same information. We also offer an optional cyclone for product recovery. Should you have any questions on particle size analysis, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for joining us.